Have you ever heard of the puzzling disappearance of Agatha Christie? Agatha Christie was born on September 15, 1890 in Devon, England. Her mother, Clara Miller, reportedly didn't want her to know how to read until she was eight years old. However, by the age of five, Agatha felt understimulated and taught her herself how to read. In the year 1914, despite concerts of her mother, married a man by the name of Archie Christie. Then, some years later, she would welcome her first and only child, Rosalind Christie. In her teens, she started to write short stories. Her older sister bet that she couldn't write a good mystery story, which led her to pen her debut novel, The Mysterious Affair at Styles. However, she got several rejections, until publisher John Lane not only bought her book, but also contracted her to write five more books, which proved to be a brilliant decision. As Agatha's novel introduced the world to one of the literature's most popular characters, such as Hercule Poirot, who featured in over two dozen novels and even more short stories, she rose to stardom after she proved to be a prolific writer. However, within a few years she suffered a period of emotional hardship after her mother, Clara Miller, whom she was close to passed away in 1926. It brought a big case of writer's block, and she was unable to finish the book she was writing at the time, which was The Mystery of the Blue Train. Not only that, her husband, Archie Christie, was having an affair with someone else, all the while she was going through all this sadness and grief. On December 3, 1926, at p.m., Agatha would leave home. After she put her daughter to bed, she up and left the house. Nobody knew where she went. However, the very next day her car would be found hanging over the edge of a chalk quarry. It seemed like her car had been driven off the road. But Agatha would be nowhere to be found everything that she brought with her was still in the car. It's like she just disappeared off the face of the earth and nobody knew where she went. Within three days of her missing, her brother-in-law said that he had gotten a letter from Agatha saying that she was going to a spa in Yorkshire for some rest and treatment. However, the police suspected the letter was a fake and reopened the case immediately. After a week the police were desperate to find her, and they brought one of her dogs on the scene at some point, even said that she was in London disguised as a man, and even brought in mediums to see if they could lead them anywhere. Obviously it didn't and eventually over 10 to 20,000 people were looking for her. And this is also the first time ever in history, or at least reported in history, that airplanes were deployed in the search of a missing person. On December 15, a man by the name of Bob Tappan, which was a banjo player, at the Swan Hydro Hotel in Harrogate, Yorkshire, reported that he thought someone looked familiar that was dancing, which was later proven to be Agatha herself, which was also proven that her letter to her brother-in-law was correct. Somehow she got away, was not being recognized, and even checked into the hotel under a fake name. Fast forward, Agatha gets brought back home, but something was off. Turns out whenever Archie came to Agatha, she didn't seem to know who he was at all, but let alone know who she was. She said her name was Teresa Neal and acted like she never heard the name Agatha Christie at all. Whenever she got home, she went through treatments to help bring back her memory and spent time with her family. And before she knew it, she got her memory back and never really mentioned what happened to her again. Whenever asked, she just pretty much said there was no need to dwell on it. It seemed like, it seems like she wanted it to just stay in the past, move on with her life, as if she hadn't been missing for over a week. And in 1928, her and her husband finally split. And it seemed like it was something that helped her to move on a bit more and move on with her life, and finish the book she was writing before she disappeared. In 1930 she got remarried to a man named Max Malowin, which seemed to have brought her a lot of happiness and she kept writing books, completing two to three books each year. In the years to come, she wrote an autobiography about herself, but of course didn't talk about what happened in 1926. There were a couple of theories I won't go into, but pretty much everyone said that it was like a publicity stunt. It was to humiliate her husband, and memory loss due to her car crash. Agatha said that this is what happened. In 1928 she was interviewed about her disappearance and she spoke about it for the very first and very last time. She said she had been suffering from insomnia and getting a total of two hours of sleep every night. She was very depressed about her mother and her husband and you can have thoughts of suicide. On the day that she disappeared, she was driving in the afternoon and came across the bridge and she thought about committing suicide. However, her daughter was in the car with her, so she dismissed the thought quickly. However, that evening, she went out again with the intentions of committing suicide. However, whenever she was about to drive off the road, 
her car ended up hitting something, which jerked her car, and made her head hit something. She went on to say that she forgot who she was from that point forward and she ended up at a railway station where she was covered in mud and blood, but no one seemed worried about it. She eventually ended up at the hotel gave a fake name, and even saw newspaper flyers of her missing and went around the hotel and sang to everyone how alike she looked like this missing person. What was very sad though, is that she said that she was happy being this woman named Teresa Neal. And the worries and anxieties of Agatha Christie were no longer there. However, when she came to, all of that flooded back. And, and it proves that no matter how successful you are, Money and fame won't make you happy and take away any sadness or depression that is in your life right now.